welcome back in my reading corner. Thank you so much for joining me again for another unboxing. If you're new to my channel, my name is Cece. I do mostly bookish subscription box unboxings, but every now and then I do TBRs, wrap ups and all the other booktube things as well. Today we are doing another unboxing and we're going to look at the fairy loot. This fairy loot is purple because this is a special edition. They have their anniversary so they have made it like specially beautiful. The Fairy Loot ships from the UK and costs 26 Great British Pounds and this added with shipping to your location. You can see the amount on the screen right now. What I really do like is that they are very, very specific and they have, they have like this big overview uh, of shipping costs so you can really see in depth already like what will shipping cost to your location. The Fairy Loot is a themed book box and I expect to find in here a newly released YA fantasy hardcover released within the last five weeks of dispatching this box. The box is usually sent around the 20th so it should be like from that. And also we will have five to six exclusive goodies and a couple of things from the author. Usually things like the letter from the author, maybe a book plate and these kind of things. We often do get exclusive covers as well. Let's get into the box. At least it's very easy to open. There's just like this little thing to open. And as always, I will get you the first look of the box. Seeing that no, nothing falls out. And this is what you see. I have to find, look into the viewfinder to see anything. Let's take away the yeah the spoiler card, and this is what you see now. All right, let's dive in. So excited to see what we have. So the theme of the month is memorable moments, and we have this beautiful spoiler card as always. I do like how the spoiler card is set up. They have in bold printing the items so it's very very easy for me to find the items while I pick them out without being really spoiled. So the first item I'm picking out is Bilbo's birthday cake and that looks like a bath bomb. Bilbo's birthday party in the Lord of the Rings is another memorable moment. We can so clearly picture Gandalf's fireworks. We knew we had to include an item inspired by this moment so we are thrilled to bring you this exclusive Bilbo's birthday cake vegan soap by Geeky Clean. It's vanilla and strawberry cake scented. So I do like the idea of that scent. Oh yeah, you can you can smell that scent around like through this but it seems to be a soap and I'm not a soap type of person which sucks because I like the scent but this will go into a giveaway so if you're new to my channel I do giveaways of the items that I'm not keeping from my subscription boxes it just happens every now and then um, pretty much every box I, there's at least like one item that I don't need I don't need these either but I'm not giving them away in my giveaway Promise. The next item I see is Toast to the Warden of the North, a vegan, a gluten free, dairy free, nut free, sustainable source. Uh, yeah, this is taking all the boxes, I guess. Snuggle up and brew yourself a cup of Toast to the Warden of the North hot chocolate. Brought to you by Eponine. This hot chocolate refers to the Jon Snow from Game of Thrones when he became Warden of the North. Till and Dill designed the lovely artwork. Doesn't it look so much like the North? We love the crowd detailing too. Yeah, see the crowd on, on, the, on the mug. I expected at first, I expected coffee because like these satchels usually mean coffee. But yeah, chocolate. It's made with milk though. I do prefer when chocolate is made with water. But I'm excited to try this. And the next item is something quite unique. Haven't seen anything like that before. And that is cork bunting. This month we decided to include something a little unique. Cork bunting. This item is brought to you by Paladone. And it is the perfect bunting to hang on your... It is the perfect bunting to hang on your shelves or desk area. You can add your favorite badges, photos, artwork and notes to display all of your own memorable moments. You can also get crafty and paint the cork to match the color of your shelves. The possibilities are limitless. I do feel like this is an awesome addition to people who have a nice like shelf area or a nice area where they have like their desk and I mean I would see, love to see people getting creative with this. 
this. I am not the type of person and I don't really have room for that kind of stuff. So it's going in my giveaway. The next item is a candle. It's a Goblet of Fire Fresh Bread and Chocolate. I already like the sound of that. Oh my gosh, that totally smelled like bread and chocolate. I don't know if I can burn this candle in here and have everything smell like chocolate and bread. Why is it called Goblet of Fire? The Triwizard Tournament is one of the most memorable moments in the Harry Potter series, so we had to include this exclusive Goblet of Fire by Paper Flames Candle Co. Isn't the mini jar adorable and aren't the blue wax swirls gorgeous? Yes, they are. I don't know if you can see the blue wax swirls. Um, you can't really see them on the top. Um, I just don't understand why the Goblet of Fire smells like chocolate and bread. It's just not like, I can't, I don't make this this association. So if you have an idea why that is, let me know. And then we have a fabric item, might be a scarf. Yeah, I guess this is a scarf. <laughs> We're so excited to include the exclusive Rune Ceremony Scarf by Fiction Tea Designs. This scarf is inspired by the Rune Ceremonies in the Mortal Instruments and Cassandra Clare's other Shadowhunter books. These runes grant various supernatural abilities and on the scarf you'll find runes for angelic power, speed, soundless, clairvoyance, fearless, deflection, irats and talent. We could all use some of that in our daily lives, couldn't we? Yes, definitely. I mean, this is a really Really cool idea. I do think it's a design that you can wear pretty nicely. It's like very very everyday wearable and still a nice bookish thing to do. I'll have to think if I'm like I'm most likely not gonna keep it still even though it's awesome but I don't wear scarves. I just get too hot wearing scarves. So even though this is beautiful this gets nice and fluffy as I like it so I am most likely gonna put that in my giveaway. I'm already starting to like oh no Scarves are just not for me, but this one is beautiful. I like the fabric a lot. It's a really nice quality fabric. So yeah, that didn't work. Okay, now I only see a bookmark before we get to the book. We have a bookmark and a little button. I like the bookmark. I am a Belle, I control beauty. I do like this a lot. Uh, this definitely goes into like, my little pile. I have no use for buttons whatsoever. So if anybody collects buttons, I am like starting to collect them without like needing them. If you collect buttons and you want to get all my buttons, just let me know. Let's get to the book. So excited to see what we have. Oh, this feels weird. What is this? Oh, that's it's like paper weird. This seems thicker than usual, the little flyer booklet. Everything's falling down. So the book is a state of sorrow. I haven't heard of this one before. It is beautiful. I like the cover. I like the blue um, and, and green colors. Very nice. Uh, boring, naked, not my thing. I like when there's just very limited stuff on the back. Sorrow, for that it's all she brings us. Okay. Doesn't look like we have an exclusive cover, but because I don't know the cover, I cannot say that for sure. We do have a map at the beginning. That's always a sign for a book that I might like um, because I'm a fantasy girl. Let's see what they say about. Our brilliant featured book of the month is State of Sorrow by Melinda Salisbury. It is filled with political intrigue, magic, mystery, and cutthroat race for power. Oh yeah. Oh yes, baby, that is for me. This just combines everything I love. Political intrigue, magic, mystery, and cutthroat race for power. Yeah. This hardcover edition was printed exclusively for Fairy Loot. The standard edition is paperback, so you won't get this version anywhere else. Oh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. I think that's awesome that we are receiving a hardcover. I do prefer hardcovers to read because they just don't look red when I'm done with them. We hope you also enjoy the signed book plate, author letter and postcard. So we have the postcard, we have the book plate and we have a letter from the author. It's a long letter. I'm not gonna read that all for you now, so. Awesome, that's awesome. And I love the pig. I would have never, I'm, I'm pretty much a person who is a very strong cover by person. So I would have never picked this and expected all my favorite 
topics to be in this one. So I'm really excited to get to it. Also, we have the Fairy Loot bookmark in here that matches the theme. And we have the Reading Buddy. And if you are my Reading Buddy, I don't know, I hope you can read the numbers. Let me know. The last thing in here is the little flyer. And it looks like this is an extra edition. It does include like some extra steps of the memorable memorable moments of uh, the fairy loot. I do like that they always have an interview with the author and the recommendations of what to read next that are matching the book style and the feeling of the book are always spot on. So I am always liking these suggestions a lot. We have Instagram photo challenge dates in here, some interviews with the people behind the box. You can win a subscription with a crossword and an interview with somebody who's doing the art of the spoiler cards and the themes. That's awesome. Oh, watch out for these booktubers. Oh, I bet you know a lot of these people on here. That's awesome. Good for you guys being featured in here. And an overview of last year's boxes like an unboxing page that is cool too they recommend some binge were the trilogies and i think yeah these are the books that were featured in the fairy loot last year so that's an awesome flyer um i do always like this flyer but this is extra good so next month is whimsical journeys looking forward to that this is it. Let's get to the ratings and let's try to make this a quick one. So, beauty ticks all the boxes. Spoiler card is done exceptionally well. I do really like how they do the spoiler card and because I do like to read why they picked things for me. And I like to read where the things are from, where I can get more of it and find the item on the spoiler card really quick. So that's really good. Being special, it does tick all the boxes as well. We have everything's exclusive in here and we have goodies and we have other items and exclusive covers and services the usp i do think that this concept isn't too unique we there are quite a few other boxes that are hitting the same thing like themed book and goodies and trying to get some exclusive stuff around the author so that does not get the point but everything else does service you can pause the subscription you have to just like write to them send them a little note uh, shipping experience always good the only thing is that if i'm committing to a longer period of time it doesn't get cheaper and there's nothing adjustable or nothing like outstanding from customer service point. So calculating everything up, I just had to guess the worth of the scarf and I priced it at 20 pounds and the worth of the candle, uh, which I priced at four pounds and we get to a total of 57 and 99 worth in the box that we paid 29 and 95 for uh, that comes down to a worth rating of 1.9 which is awesome all in all we have 22 points which is a four and a half star rating and that is just one of the most amazing results i have never gotten anything more than the four and a half star and I'm just thrilled. I really did enjoy this box a lot. I did enjoy the book pick most because I most likely wouldn't have picked it up because the cover didn't speak to me as in read me. It more looks more like a contemporary mystery drama kind of thing. And so I wouldn't have picked it, but it seems like it might be right up my alley. So yay. If you liked this video at all, be sure to subscribe before you leave and head on over and check out my giveaway where I give away all the awesome things that I am not using. Until then, I hope to see you really soon. <laughs> Bye.